Heyo, I'm gonna tell you something about the computing as well. And since, I'm, since I only have five minutes, I'm gonna assume that all of you are interested in, di in this and I'm not gonna explain you why you want this. If not, then, well, you're stupid anyway. Um, first things first, how do you get into contact with the rest of us people hacking on? And there are three things. There's the P5P, P5P mailing list, there's the RSC channel, and of course there are conferences. Uh, Pearl Five Quarters is essentially the place where all everything that's important is discussed. If you're not on P5P, you're not really a core contributor in any uh, regular sense because you don't know what's going on. <coughs> so you have, if you want to contribute to Pearl, you have to be here. There are two things that you have to know before that, though. The first is, by most people's standards, it's a fairly it averages between 35 and 40 emails per day. Uh, if you think it's a lot, you're probably on the Git mailing list. The <laughs> um, second thing is, um, discussions have, uh, ha have had it getting a bit heated sometimes. The, um, uh, I'm not going to name names, but yes, I think some people know who I'm talking about. Um, there's the IRC channel. Who of you are on irc.pearl.org? Well, you should be on YAPC anyway now, but... <coughs> uh, the IRC channel tends to be a bit more casual and a bit more, hey, I had this idea, is this a good idea or a bad idea, or general, I'm, ha I'm running into crazy, I'm really, really crazy shit, can anyone help me with it? Because, well, yeah. Um, uh, fortunately, it tends to be a bit less rough than uh, the mailing list. Uh, this is because it's a bit more likely that you'll be the off if you're truly acting like an asshole. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> um, yeah, just join it. Um, also, it's not plugged. It's disadvan the advantage and disadvantage is it's not locked. So if you want to have any serious kind of discussion that needs to be read for posterity, then do it not here. Do it on, a P, on the P5P mailing list. And lastly, there's conferences. Uh, there are plenty of people here. Who is, who are you? Raise your hands if you're on like, a P, if you're like active with, on either of the two. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Nick. Uh, there are plenty, if you have some interesting idea, you can discuss it with people here. So, what are you gonna do? Well, fortunately, there are like, and there are, at least two to-do lists, um, but also there are plenty of other people with ideas. There's, no really, there's like a zillion things possible and it all really depends on what can you do and what do you have the time for. And in my experience, it's generally a case of find your itch and scratch it. If you find a bug, fix it. Because you want the bug that's bugging you to be fixed. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the most obvious role uh, on, P uh, on Pearl development would be to be a C hacker. Now, most of you aren't C hackers, but if you are, then there are more things you can possibly do than I can mention in like probably a 20 minutes talk. Uh, my general advice here would be specialized. Uh, there are a few people like Nicholas there who <laughs> seem to know their way around most people. Oh, crap. <laughs> there are a few people who know, seem to know almost everything, but most of us are mere mortals who focus on one or two things and then get really, and hopefully get really good at it. And then there's documenters. Documenters are like the most underrated people in uh, Pearl, oh, probably also because we have so few good documenters and, and so many people who utterly suck at it. That maybe includes me. Um, then there's dual life ma maintainers. A lot of modules are, have the dual life on CPAN and on core, and some of them need so some development, some not, but it, they need at least to be synchronized. Um, there are a few modules that I think actually actively need someone to do this. You don't need that many. Uh, if you can do CPAN, you can do this. Um, release managers, Abigail had the talk about that yesterday. 
re being a release manager is a very useful thing to do, and it doesn't require major technical skills, but it does require you to be able to commit like a, a commit time to it because it's the only thing where people get mad at you if you slack off and release it two weeks late. Um, and then there's testers, and well, related to that, bug reporters. How many of you have ever reported a bug? Excellent! <laughs> yeah, well, report bugs, report bugs with tests, and then they have a chance of being fixed. Or fix them yourself, of course. Any questions? Or <laughs>